uh, hi guys I've learned that um, whenever I feel like nervous or shy or anxious about doing stuff I always try to do it like even harder like God really puts it in my heart to just go all out like right now <laughs> my door is slightly open and I'm a bit afraid that my housemates are listening but I don't I don't care like I just pray that this video touches the hearts of those that want and are willing to be used by God and I just pray that everything that I say is coming directly from the Father. I pray that the hearts of those that don't know Jesus will come to truly know him. I pray that after this video the hearts will truly be changed to just be more like Jesus. I pray that this stirs up a fire in all of the hearts of those that are watching this video and just sets it ablaze for our Lord Jesus. I pray that it's all about you and none of, not, not about me. I pray it's not about how I look or how I sound or how I talk, but it's literally all about you, Jesus. Take all the glory. Take it all, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I actually made an effort today, but this is not what the video is about. The video is about to stop pretending. <laughs> uh, you know, I feel like I always go through stuff and then like tests and trials and then God is like, whatever I go through and I pass it or whatever. I literally just like go and make a video and I'm just like, yes, I've done this. It's done, cool, we can move forward. And in doing that, I'm helping other people who are going through similar things to me. I feel like when I speak, it's not just, it's not for me, it's never for me. It's always about other people, other people who are willing to be used by God or willing to listen to him or have a heart for him. So today I wanna to talk about stop, stopping pretending. Stop pretending that things are okay and everything's all rosy and Life is good when you know deep down inside like you're breaking, you're shattering and you literally just want to cry out for help. So I just want to encourage anyone who's feeling like that, who feels like it's all too overwhelming to like control, that it's that's okay, that's fine. Don't ever feel like you can't come to God with all of this in your mind and lay it down on at his feet that's exactly what he wants you to do it's the enemy that makes you feel like you're not good enough you're not smart enough you're not you don't speak well enough to come to him or you feel like you have too much baggage too much sin too much distress to just come at his feet so just be honest just come to him come to the throne of mercy boldly and lay everything down and there's so much power in doing that. There's so much power in saying, Lord God, I can't take this and I'm giving it to you. There's just so much power. There's so much power in doing that, saying that I can't do this, Lord God, I'm, I'm going to let you have it because I'm not strong enough. And I know that through you, I'm strong. There's so much power in that. I wrote a couple of notes because things were just like coming into my head earlier today. So... Yeah, just whenever you come into your quiet time or, you know, when you just have your devotional time with God, don't ever hold back and hold things, you know, from your heart, you know, to tell him because at the end of the day, God knows you. Like, he made you. He knows how much hair is on your head. He knows every single intricate thought about you. So how much more should you just express yourself truly to him? Whenever you feel like things aren't going right or things aren't going well, go out to him. Be like, God, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm always smiling in front of people when I go outside, but inside I am so broken. And what he can do with you being so honest is that he can heal you from those things. There's nothing that he can't do. So you literally just have to just trust that when you open up to him wholeheartedly, that he's able to save you from anything that you're going through because it's never even about you it's all about him and another thing that we forget is the fact that Jesus actually came to earth 
to live like us so he understands everything that we are going through he understands sin he understands depression he understands all of these things so if god can humble himself to be like us to understand us why wouldn't we go to him with these things that we're struggling with we should never ever feel like we can't go to him it just sounds ridiculous to me anyway anyway and i'm guilty of doing this sometimes i feel like you know what i'm going through i need to just pretend like i'm okay but that's the thing don't ever do that because then you get into the habit of just sweeping things under the carpet and never really dealing with them like face and front value what you need to do is be so open so honest with how you're feeling with god because he's always there <laughs> and it's literally up to you whether you actually go to him, go to his throne and just lay it all down. And I mean it. And I pray that after this video or even now, if you feel as if like there's just something weighing so heavily on your heart, just turn this off and just be like, God, hear my cry. Like, I know I'm feeling really crappy and life is not going well, but I just want you to listen to me. I just want you, I just want to pull my, my heart out to you because I know that's the one thing that I can do and you will listen and when I speak to you it's not in vain, it's more I want relationship with you because you know when you have relationships with people, you, there needs to be that form of honesty because without honesty how can you truly connect? So by you going to God with all of your honesty there's nothing that you're holding back and you are able to form like deep emotional connections with him because you're being so honest do you see what i mean so once you get into the habit of being so honest with him like he's only going to build you up there's not going to be a time where you go to his presence and then you feel empty he's always going to fill you up but you need to get rid of that depression that anxiety that hurt within you and be honest with him for him to now pour into you Pour his love into you so that you can overflow to other people like the only reason i'm here today is because i've been on my face and i've cried and i've screamed and i'm like god i'm not happy da, 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 da. because it's in that he's able to pour himself into me as i'm emptying myself he's pouring himself into me so i can overflow into other people so yeah yes 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 and another thing um i get into the habit too is just being so over analytical to the point where it's just so overwhelming and you form religion and not relationship so in that situation i think it's just so that's where this honesty comes into because when you get to the point where you're always thinking above and beyond what like a normal person would do it can kind of drive you insane but you need to just go to god and be like god like I am thinking crazy thoughts right now and I know that it's only you that can help me with this. Help me. But if you were to never go that, if you were to never go to him with that, how is he supposed to help you if you just keep it all locked in? You need to give him the ability, even though he already has it, because you know there's still free will, you need to come to him boldly with all of your sin, all of your regret, all of your hurt, all of your depression, your anxiety and just say, Lord God, I can't do it. And I'm giving it to you. And in that, there is power just by giving it to him. So, yeah, again, again this is not a long video. <laughs> Excuse my background. I know it's kind of different, but I've moved. So, yeah. So, um, that's, yeah, I'm currently adulting. I'm adulting right now. So, yeah. Um, and I just want to pray for all of those that are listening, all of those that are struggling through things. I just want to stand in agreement with them that all shall be well in God's rightful time. I pray that they are able to just tr truly form deep connections with our Lord and our Father. I pray that whenever they, they, that they come to you and they seek you, that they will find you, Lord God. And I pray that whatever you've placed in their hearts to do, that you will provide them the guidance to do so and they will never feel alone in whatever you've asked them to do but in everything they will find you i pray that they truly have hearts for you hearts that are hungry for you and your word and your spirit and your presence and that they always always come back to the heart of worship i pray that their lives become all about 
you and not about them and i pray that you will increase while we decrease lord god in jesus name amen so yeah that's my word of encouragement hope you were blessed not enjoy that because i'm sure most people don't enjoy the truth i mean i don't i just hope that you're blessed by it and that you're able to just produce fruit from seeds that are planted here by the holy spirit and watered by the holy spirit so thank you so much for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one bye i know i'm back i'm annoying i'm that annoying friend that's like oh but wait 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 but i do feel like there's a lot of people that watch me who are really holding back in terms of the purpose that god has for them and there's like a burning desire to do a certain thing but there's just this I don't know like of just holding back and that was that's just what was ringing in my mind like I've literally stopped to film stop this video and just brought it back up but I just feel like there's someone out there where God wants to truly use and you know that and me sitting here talking to you is all I'm doing is, is confirming that so what you need to do is pick up your camera pick up your blog and just start whatever God is asking you to do. Thank you. <laughs> Bye for real now. I need to go.